Hey guys, it's Eddie from Food for Thought. This is our Food for Thought Friday. Um, and today, you know, this might be daft. I'm sitting in the garden. It's been like 33, 34 degrees today with hum the, the humidity in Ontario. It's like 40. Um, I know in some places that might not be overly hot, but it's ridiculous. I, I can't deal with it. I'm fat guy. Don't work well in the heat. Um, mind you, even when I was in the Air Force, didn't work well in the heat anyway. Um, but it's not even into the July. It's the third week in, end of the third week in July, um, and my food for thought is: What are you planning for next year? Come back to you. back so um obviously i'm sitting next to my my tomatoes just now um I, about four days ago five days ago i topped off all my my tomatoes um i didn't want any more growing i wanted them to start and frighten and within days doo -doo -doo, i've got the bottom ones already starting to ripen which is what i what i wanted and what i needed so this is the start of hopefully my, my harvest. Um, I harvested my potatoes last week that were in the, the sacks. I should have actually videoed it, but they it was a horrible failure. Um, I got like 10 pound of potatoes, less than 10 pound of potatoes um, out of the bags. I think I overwatered, um, which really, it just everything was, you know, small. I, 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 you know, I, I tried growing in, in buckets and stuff before, and I suck at it. Um, so I'm really going to have to work at it next year. So, um, but yeah, next year, July, you might think this is crazy. I've got, you know, you know, another, you know, five months before the, you know, before the year even starts. Um, but you, you've got to start planting, especially. Um, the being sort of self-reliant you've got to start preparing so what I've done I've got a lot of ideas um, a lot of water catchment ideas for next year um, uh, I was working out um, I didn't realize you know the crazy amount of water that you can catch um, and I haven't done it before I've got one one bucket there and that's been put up since the you know the spring, the late sum the late spring into the summer, and we've had hardly any water. I've got like this much of water in it. It's ridiculous because um, we've got no water. I've spent a lot of money on keeping the the plants watered. Um, like last month, it was like seventy dollars extra on water. Um, so I've got to plan on that, and I have, because I've got a thousand square foot uh, roof because I've only got a small house. Um, but that thousand square feet, even in one inch of water, will collect 600 gallons of rainwater. So I've got to be able to collect most of that or otherwise it's going to be going down the drain. Um, so I want to have at least sort of six or seven um, rain catchment barrels, you know, like I would say... I'd probably say four on each side of the house, which would make me happy. Um, so that would fill all of them up for at the start of springtime. So I've got, you know, a lot of water going into the summer. Um, my other thing is pollination. I had to do an awful lot of the pollination of the, the tomato plants because it, it did I obviously I wasn't out here every second of the day and I wasn't checking every single bug that was in the area but it didn't seem like there was an awful not an awful lot of pollination um, bug pollination happening um, so we'll have to work on that so I'm gonna start get a mason bee um, area that they can you know, build the nests. I'm going to have that across at the east, so the west side of the, the, the yard, so it's got an east facing um, frontage. Um, so I'm going to do that this year or next year. Um, probably start building it this year to have it ready for 
them next year um, to get them into the yard. Um, I actually sat down and drew my yard. Um, sorry, this is my house. Sorry, my middle finger, but it's easier than that one. So this is my house. Uh, rabbit sheds. Um, or the, no, this one, these, these two are the rabbit sheds. I'm trying to see it back to front. These two are the rabbit sheds. That's my old shed. Um, drying rack and, you know, this is the bottom of the garden. So these are my two small 4x4 four four hotbeds. This is my big hotbed. Um, and these are the new ones I've just got wood for. I'm going to do a video on how to make a, a, a really quick raised bed. So I'm going to have two, three more there that I've already got the wood for. I want to get another two down here. So I've got another sort of 16 feet of growing area. Um, so it'll be a six. There'll be two beds that are um, eight by four. So these are all eight by fours. And I'm gonna have another two eight by four down there. And then this is the front of my house where I've got the three four by fours. Um, I've got the big um, bed. I'm trying to remember, see, see which, at the deck, this is the bed. And then I've got another one that's brand new, um, just building there. So I've got four for this year going into the end of the growing season. Um, I'm not going to probably get them fixed, but planning. So that's my planning um, for next year so far. Um, I'm putting on a, I'm going to be putting on a new roof in September onto the rabbit tree. Um, I'm going to also have that shingled. Um, and I'm going to have that, so it's going to be right from the back, right across the top. Because at the moment it's more or less straight for the the top the top one a little bit. Of, so I'm, I actually have to raise that up so it's got all the way back. Um, and that I'm going to have a water catchment, a gutter system, and water catchment off of that. Um, so I've got another water barrel or two down here. So next year, beginning of next year, it's all to do with the start of it's all to do with water catchment. Um, because this year has been crazy hot and spending money. I don't want to spend money and use city water next year. This year, it, I was starting off, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I've got to plan the beds an awful lot better. Um, I've just looked at getting software for um, garden planning. So I know where every plant should be, whether it should be in this, you know, how much sunlight, it, all the different areas. You know, I've got to check the sunlight of all the different areas in this. Um, so I can plan better where the plants should be, and even in the beds, where they should be in the bed. To Because I've put the, the, unfortunately, I put the tomatoes at the front of the bed. Didn't even think that these things were going to be almost six feet tall. And it's shaded out a lot of the other plants that are in here. So it's going to be a small harvest of what I wanted. So this is why I'm trying to top them off now, get them done, and get the heart, you know, so that the um, broccoli, cabbage, and all that kind of stuff that's in here can then get a major amount of sun and hopefully boost them into growing for the fall. So that's the food for thought Friday. Is what are your plans for next year? Even though we've got you know many many months before next year comes around. Um, so let me know. Are you planning to get rabbits? Are you planning to get quail? Are you planning to get any other animals? What's your sustainability going to be? Um, I'll start somewhere. So let's plan. Take care. Thanks for your support for both Gordon and I for Food for Thought. Cheers now.